Peggy 18. Hey everybody, Zachary Levi here, again for the final time, back full circle in Redwood City. Behind me, inside, critics and fans alike are getting some hands-on experience, an hour's worth of gameplay of pre-release code. Simultaneously, the studio dev team is hard at work crunching, optimizing, and polishing all the last little bits of code for what we will all come to know and love as the new Tomb Raider. It's a culmination of everything, and the clock is ticking. These are the final, final hours of Tomb Raider. Tonight we have a large audience coming in. We decided that uh, rather than going to one of our partners and just doing a live stream, we decided you come to us. Yeah. We have a big area in the studio and let's open it up. Have yeah. you ever done anything like this before? No, we've never done it because right now we've got we've got black curtains up around a specific area of the studio, which is our next big thing. Mm -hmm. Only a select few people have been allowed to come in right. and everybody's heavily NDA'd and now we're going to bring you know, 80 plus people is the studio, but well, it's exciting, you know, to bring those type of people into the studio. They're the fans, they're the people who love it. And uh, we want people to, to be a part of our experience. On one half of the studio, all that is, is going on like yeah. crazy, but basically in half the studio, you guys are just pounding, yeah. working out every last glitch, every last yeah. bug, making sure that yeah. it's all just perfect, done and yeah. perfect, exactly, yeah. for, your, for your, your certs on yeah. Friday. Yeah. What happens when a game fails, sir? Then things start getting like, you know, sweaty around here. You know, you're dicing with, uh, with death right there. Well, you might be missing a release date. That's yeah. how big a day this Friday is. Yeah, it's huge. If we submit and they come back and say, hey, there's maybe 35 things that we'd like to change, then as a studio, we'll change. We'll, we'll improve them. Or there's small things that they say, hey, you know, this experience might be better if you just fix this little thing. Then, of course, the team are literally sitting there waiting for that to happen. And there has been games I've worked on where we've submitted and within 24 hours it would get kicked back and they'd say, eh, eh. Hey, you, you guys are crazy, you shouldn't have submitted it. So, there are 80 people yeah. in the office yeah. right now. You're five, four and a half days away from delivering this thing. And they're all they're strewn about. What are they all doing? So we have guys working out of very prioritized hit lists, right? So we right. say, okay, this is the most egregious thing that we've noticed lately. We'd like for you to focus in on it. What are you guys debugging here? Looking at some menu transitions. Oh yeah, we want to make oh, sure everything feels snappy yeah. all the time. Menu transitions. Yeah. If I had a nickel for every time. <laughs> One of the toughest things with Lara as a character is her hair. Um, you try to simulate hair in a video game, and it's, oh, yeah. it's not always exactly the way yeah. it would be in real life. But that's something that um, I think the fans really point that out, and they want Lara to look as good and as believable as possible. So even in the home stretches, we're trying to sweeten it and make you believe it. So I spend a ton of time playing the game. So while everybody else is busting their butts trying to make it work, <laughs> you're having fun. That's basically what you're saying. There's about 80 people right. that are all still busily working in yeah. this last week before the, the game goes to cert. Absolutely. One of those groups is called the what group? The OMS group. And what does OMS stand for? Uh, OMS is an acronym for Oh My Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean exactly? When you're into the high octane moment, the only response that we were challenging the team that it could come back with was I would exclaim, oh my shit, that's awesome, right? right. Like, I couldn't even cuss properly. It could have been the O-M-H-G, the oh my holy god team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh my shit, oh my I shit, think it, just, it resonated. So many companies focus on the explosions, explosions, explosions. Mm -hmm. And we love explosions. I mean, there's plenty of them in the game. But it's also about sometimes that implosion moment, that time where you actually feel like you're part of that. Yeah. We have an early example in the scavenger den, very early in the game, where the camera is about six inches from the back of her head as she's in this claustrophobic moment as the ceiling gets lower and lower and the water gets higher and higher and the torch, you're worried is it gonna go out? And as you suck in for that moment, if it's resonating with people, as we've seen it resonate here, you actually watch people who are claustrophobic kind of lean back in their chair a little and kind of react, and that's exactly what an OMS team is about.
you feel confident that in four days, in four and a half days, this thing is like ready to ship and ready to rock and gonna blow people's minds? Well, how about we look at that? I got a board that'll tell us. Oh yeah, where's your board? Right over here. I'm a stats guy, right? Okay. Like, it's gotta be like the McNamara version of reality, right? <laughs> so, and getting things done, like it's very NORAD, like with the update on where we are with bug counts. So we have the number of days that we wanna count down for, the priorities of what people are given against, and then an overview of how many things are remaining to be resolved per person. Carrie's got her work cut out for her. Come on, Carrie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, we have to figure out how do we hit the quality on a predictable timeline. So right. right now, we're trending towards being able to hit that in 12 days. But you need to deliver in four and a half. Correct. So what does that mean? I need to go right now. <laughs> Where is your head at right now, knowing that in four days, Yeah. It's got to be completely yeah, done. I'm super critical uh, of what we do. You, know, mm -hmm. you, you tend to be perfectionists. I'm absolutely that way. It's more like, this is leaving now. Yeah. You're done working on it yeah. because time's up. Yeah. And you're like, D -d 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 but there could be one more thing I can do. <laughs> it's a weird feeling because it's been part of our lives for a very long time. How long have well, you been on it? Um, definitely four years. Yeah, like four, four years. years. Yeah. Four years. That's insane. I know. I was young. Yeah, fresh face. I was young then. Yes, no bags, no <laughs> I had gray a soul. hair. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster ride, and during that time, we've been around the world. We've gone to shows. We've shown press. We've given hands-on. We've had community events. We've been in San Diego with you at Nerd Machine. We've seen people excited to see this and play this game, and it's it's been it's been awesome. It's not just about Lara's arc. It's about the arc of people who've come in to the roles. You know, we've had people come in as animators and move up to the highest highest levels in their in their profession along these four years. So people have grown in these roles. Families have expanded, kids have been born, but we're coming to a point now where we're, you know, probably 70, 80 plus days away from launch and this phase has come to an end. You know, sure. it's been uh, it's been awesome. With less than a week to go before console certification, the last few bugs to squash and a general lack of sleep all around this production is definitely gonna go down to the wire. Will they make it? Join us next time on the final, final hours of Tomb Raider to find out.